Hello, uh, welcome to uh, this introduction about the um, 3P real-time uh, dashboard maker for COSEM. So, um, as you know, COSEM is a platform for um, Internet of Things that lets you push data into a, a centralized server. Um, uh, this app is running on top of the um, uh, WebSocket server of COSEM. And it's mainly um, used for processing, monitoring your data from COSEM. Um, so basically this is just an introduction. I'll show you how it looks like. However, you will need to go through our series of tutorials to be able to create a dashboard like the one I'm showing here. So um, let's assume that you went through all the tutorials and that you're ready. Um, so this is how your typical dashboard uh, will look like. Um, all the data is being uh, pushed from the COSAM server in real time. Um, you have a number of feeds here that you've subscribed to. Uh, you have the data stream uh, number. You have the request um, uh, status. And then here you have last time the data was uh, updated from the server. Do um, you see those two LEDs showing that uh, the connection is green, meaning it's good, it's connected to the server. Um, this uh, up engine status show that your code has loaded uh, successfully. Then you see this uh, green dot that um, keeps popping up, it's telling you that some data is uh, coming. And um, uh, so basically, um, the dashboard will allow you to use a number of monitors. For example, to use um, a gauge, different uh, sizes, different colors. You can customize your gauge as you want. Uh, you can use a tank, which is basically a percentage of the um, current data versus uh, the old data. Uh, and it shows you how much, um, what, what's the current percentage. You can also use um, a bar chart to um, display uh, uh, various uh, feeds in the single chart, all in real time, the same at the same uh, time. Or you can do the same thing, but over time, basically. It will show you all the data streams over time. This is an example. Um, I can also use the single chart, which is um, uh, showing you uh, a number of um, the variation of the feed over time in these two examples or you can just use the simplest monitor of all uh, which just gives you the current value so this is a general uh, introduction um, uh, of the 3P or what you can do with the 3P uh, there is a lot more to uh, to have to, to, the, to show um, maybe the most um, straightforward one will be to show how you can actually create this dashboard. So what you need to do is to get uh, what you need to do is to get this uh, edit dashboard here. You press this button, then it will show you how this thing was created. So it was basically created by dragging and dropping uh, this uh, a number of uh, elements. From the drop down menu, and once you drag everything and you know what you need, you will need to go under the hood and um, basically select your feeds, what feeds you need, and then you wire them up. Um, again, I uh, suggest you go through our series of tutorials, I will walk you through step by step how to make use of the 3P app. Uh, one more thing is um, this app uses all the latest technology from uh, HTML5, so all the information that you uh, have is saved in the local storage. So to see what dashboards you have, you just press the file button, and then you go to your local storage. And for example, in my case, I have this number of dashboards here. You can select any one of them. Um, or you can uh, create um, a new dashboard from scratch. I'll show you in the tutorial how to do that. Or you can even uh, select a, a file uh, that you have 
made uh, previously or you've got from another user. Um, I think this would be um, uh, good as a start. So what I recommend you is from here if you want to go to tutorial 1 and start playing with this app. You'll find it's really really cool and it will really uh, make uh, very powerful uh, uh, monitoring and uh, data analysis. Um, thank you for watching and um, we look forward to your uh, feedback.